Well, I just want to let you know that I appreciate you as well. No, I really do, and I'm so glad that you called us. I'm so glad that you're safe, and I want to let you know that it is okay to call us back any time. Okay, everybody, come on around. Morning meeting. I know, I was on the ice block, the piano wire. Piano wire? I know, right. What happened on this? It's like some musician thing. Come on, everybody. Yep, go ahead and make a nice little circle, nice and cozy. Okay? Is it uh, John, That's Jim, it. Susan, Kaylee. Kaylee? Kaylee, okay. And then where's Catherine? Is it Catherine? It's Kate. Kate. Yeah. Kate. Kate! Hey, hey. hey, how are you? Okay, great. We got everybody. Just want to give you a little pep before we get in there for those morning calls, okay? Mm -hmm. Just want to let you guys know we're super proud of what you guys are doing here and thank you so much for volunteering your time. Thank you. What we do here is we save lives. Save them. You know? And when lives are at stake, you want to make sure you give 110 percent. 120 if you have to. When you're out there, smile and really put yourself out there. We big know. Big smiles, big hearts. That's right. Just remember to stay on the phone and you they stay in the world. Okay? That's right. All right. That's right. All right, guys. Are you guys ready to go save some lives? Definitely. Heck yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's save yeah. some lives. All right. Great. Wait, Kate, Kate, Kate. Yeah, if yeah. we could talk to you just for one second. Cool. Let me just hang back here. Let's just step over oh, here. Okay. Great, thanks. Yeah, I just wanted to take a little moment to talk to you. Just try to check in there, okay? Uh, you've been here months now? Um, six months, actually. Six months, that's wow. amazing, wow. that's great. And why, did you volunteer it or? Yeah, so the thing is, is this is a requirement for my graduate program, so I actually, I, I need to be here to graduate. Requirement. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That might be part of it. Um, So I just wanted to check in a little bit. You've been doing great. As you know, we had, a few losses last month, and we're really trying to go for zero, oh, wow. zero losses. The other thing is, though, is that we got a bad Yelp review with your name on it. Wait, there's Yelp for this? Oh, yeah, there's Yelp there for is. everything. There's Yelp for gardening, there's Yelp for yogurt, there's, nothing there's Yelp for Okay, but like, around. if the person was around to Yelp it, then didn't I technically do my job? <laughs> yeah, see, that's kind of the... That's yeah. kind of what we're talking yeah. about. We want a little yeah. more reception to what we're saying and listening. It was a thing, comment about attitude. I, I, I think they used the word snarky. Oh. It was snarky. Yeah. And we can't have snarky no here. Snarky. Oh. No snarky. No snarky. No snarky. Yeah. And so today, just Camille's going to come by. She's going to just check Monitor. on you, help you out. Just make sure that everything's going great. See if you need a helping hand or whatever you need. She's here for you, okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I really look forward to your feedback. Yeah. Super fun. It's going to be super fun. Great. Yeah. Great. Okay. Well, you can... Okay. Great. <laughs> Good luck out there. Yeah. All right. Okay. 1-800-SUICIDE. This is Jim. Can I help you? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So, so where are you now? Okay. Are you in any danger to yourself or anybody else at this time? Hello, uh, you've reached the suicide hotline. This is Kate. How can I help you today? God, I want to fuck you. God, Wait, I'm so, oh, I'm so sorry, sir. The connection's really bad. I actually couldn't understand. Could you repeat that? I want to fuck you. I'm sorry? I want to fuck you. Fuck? I want to fuck you? Oh, no, 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 no. Trust. You. Yeah, you want to trust. Oh, okay. Yes, you can trust me. That is that is what we're here for. Fuck. 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 But fuck you. Okay, I think I understand what you said, and uh, I think you've got the wrong number, sir. This is a suicide hotline. A suicide? I'm 1 800 wet twat. No, no, sir. This is a suicide hotline. 1 800 suicide. I think you called the wrong people. No, no. I, ca I called 1 800 wet twat. Okay, sir, excuse me. The thing that you said is not even close to the numbers on the keypad for 1-800-SUICIDE. And second of all, that is a disgusting word that no one should use because it doesn't even sound like a woman's body part. It sounds like a hitting sound from a comic book or something. So this is in a... S oh. Suicide. People who want to end their lives. Oh. I am I'm, I'm so sorry. I... I meant to, I thought I was calling a different number. This is like a free service? Yes, this is a free service. There's no like $4.99 a minute or you just sit on the phone and talk to lonely people all day? A different type of lonely than the type that you feel right now, sir. I'm sad and lonely. I'm just gonna pull it out. Do not take it out. Do, 
Do not take out the weapon, sir. If you take that out, you're going to cause harm to yourself and potentially other people. And you think that that's a good idea, and in the short term, it might feel to you like it's a good idea, but it just feels like the right choice in the moment, and it's not the right, yeah, it's not, it's not the right choice, sir. And I, I think you know that in your heart, that it's not the right choice. That's, that's not the right choice for anybody here. Okay, listen to me, you sick jerk. The reason you're calling a suicide online to take out your stuff is because nobody in real life wants to see it. You like big dicks? <laughs> I'm talking to you, aren't I? Uh, what do you look like? What do I look like? Well, um, I would say that I actually uh, look a lot like your mom. Like, the resemblance is uncanny. Like a disappointed, heartbroken mom. And what kind of tits you got? What kind of tits do I have? Oh, I would say that I have some that are similar to those that have hung from some of the greatest people in history, such as Harriet Tubman or Eleanor Roosevelt or Ruth Bader Ginsburg. How about that? Tell me what you want me to do to you. Oh, I want you to screw me. I want you to screw me as long and as hard as society has been screwing women. Tell me what you like in bed. Ambien. I wish I had more dicks, girl, so I could just put them in every single hole of yours, man. I'm gonna fuck you in your ear, I'm gonna fuck you in your mouth. Okay, sir, there are people with real serious problems who could call here at any moment, so I'm gonna have to let you go, okay? Are you in a safe place? Oh, your bedroom, that's great. Oh, okay. I hope it catches on fucking fire. I wanna give you a facial. I wanna go condition your hair. I wanna make sure you have to clean all of your pillows and pillowcases. Listen, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you, you misogynistic jerk, but I can be anyone on the other line of the phone right now. You're, you feel like like you're like entitled to just take my time and to take time away from people who might be dying. I don't need a Viagra, girl. You're my Viagra, huh? You know what disgusts me? You disgust me. But you know what disgusts me even more than you disgust me? The fact that you probably like me just telling you how disgusting you are. That's probably your thing. You know why I was still on the phone with you? Because I'm trying to impress my bosses and make it seem like I'm working hard. Otherwise, I would never talk to you. Mama, mama, motherfucker, that's right. You've got a real problem listening to women, don't you? Anyway, I, I think it's time for this call to end. Dirty girl, yeah. Oh yeah, call me daddy. Why, because yours was never around? And because that's a terrible thing when, lose, when we lose a parent. I mean, I, I, losing a parent is one of the hardest experiences that a human being can go through. God, you got me so hard. Yeah, I, I know that it's hard. I mean, it's gotta be the hardest. I'm about to explode like the, like the Challenger space shuttle. Sometimes it's good to just release those feelings, you know? You know, sooner rather than later. Let it out as soon as you can. Why oh, is this so weird, girl? Oh, I'm gonna put you on speakerphone. I'm gonna put my belt around my neck. Yeah, you like it dirty? A belt? Yeah. Yeah, you like it dirty, girl? Like a belt? Like a, like a, for your pants? Oh, uh, yeah. Like that dirty. You're gonna put that around your neck? You like when I choke myself, girl? Yeah. I need you to take the belt off your neck. To choke off. I need, the, I need you to take the belt, and I need you to take it off your neck, and I need, I need you to put it to the side. I'm like what? Like what? Choke myself? You can't, um... Like that dirty shit, girl. You know, just remember that whatever you're feeling right now is gonna pass. You like to choke off. Don't choke me out, girl. Are you safe? Are, are you in? Are, are you safe right now? Yeah, you like this shit. You like that shit. You like that shit. Hello? Are you there? I thought he was okay. It was just the whole call. Like, he seemed fine and like he wasn't gonna do it. And then, sir? Sir? Oh no! Sir, are you there? Are you. <laughs> Hello? <sighs> Hello? Hello? Hi, are, are you. Are you. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I'm good. Yeah, I'm great. <sighs> uh, you're alive. He's alive, he's alive. 
Oh, man. Yeah. Sir, do you have any plans of harming yourself anymore? I feel like I'm normal again, sane. Back to poison's gone. Okay. Well, I'd like you to know that, you know, you can please feel free to to call us back here if you're ever thinking about suicide and um, you know, there's there's many other operators here who would be happy to assist you. You should be proud of yourself, man. You did a you did a great service. Okay. Th thank you for your call. Whew. Carol, you want to stay on the next applicant? Chris from Marketing the Sea World. Yeah, th that's exactly what I'm saying. The whales are too black and white. If you could just put some color in there. Well, look, I don't care if they're born black and white. That's what I pay you for. Oh, God. Kate, you did it. You did it. You did it, girl. You saved a life. That's amazing. You guys, you guys, Kate saved a life. Oh, okay. You did it. She did. You did. That's great. That's great. How do you feel? Pretty weird. weird. Kind of weird. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it weird. can feel weird. Yeah. It's yeah. sometimes it's weird. Yeah. Sometimes it's really hard and weird. Yeah. You know? But I mean, it's it's the fact that you did it. You, you know? did it, girl. It's amazing. I mean, all right. The one Ah. Good one. Okay. Okay. Bump it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Now, keep that right. attitude. Keep smiling because those calls are going to keep coming, okay? <laughs> All right. Great job, Kate. All right. Okay. Fantastic. We're watching work. you. <laughs> 1 800 Suicide. This is Kate. How can I help you today?